Her dub job is out of this world. It's Kristen Hobbs. Hey. Nice to meet you, Kristen. Kristen, I think you have the coolest dad in the world. Thank you, I think so too. Tell us about him and what he does. Uh, yes, yeah, so my dad is an astronaut and he's currently in space, uh, orbiting the Earth right now on the International Space Station. Oh, brilliant. And he's also a big fan of the old Twitter as well, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's posting on Twitter all the time and Facebook and stuff, uh, pictures that he sees uh, of the Earth and uh, pictures from inside the space station. Oh. And you have a super close relationship with your dad, don't you? Yeah, I do. Um, I mean, obviously he's my dad, so just because he's in space doesn't mean that we don't talk all the time. Um, I'm very, very close to him. Yeah. And he wanted to be in space since he was a tiny little boy, didn't he? Yeah, so he saw the first uh, moon landings, Neil Armstrong walking on the moon, and he wanted to be an astronaut ever since then, and he's just worked towards it his whole life. So. Oh, brilliant. And, and did you ever want to be an astronaut when you were young? <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, I get motion sick, so it's quite bad for me to be an astronaut. <laughs> I think I'd be throwing up all the time. Oh, well, yeah. I think when we first noticed your dad was when he tweeted about um, Dublin, actually, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, so he has this really amazing picture of Ireland uh, and England and Wales and Scotland, but then he also has a, a really beautiful picture of Dublin and he tweeted in Irish about it. And I hear that he actually texts you first to make sure that it is Dublin? <laughs> yeah, he emailed me because he was quite nervous. He tweeted a picture before that was of Ireland, of Dublin, but he didn't realize that it was of Dublin, so uh, he decided to ask me this Just time. to make, to, to be make sure, sure, to be sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Did you always realize that your dad had such a cool job when you were growing up? No, you know, when I was a, a little kid, then lots of the other kids in my class were astronauts' kids because I lived in an area with lots of astronauts. Um, so I didn't kind of realize until I got older and everyone was like, wow, oh, that's, <laughs> that's so cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I was a kid, it was just normal. And I guess from your accent, it's pretty obvious you're from Canada and your dad is only one of three Canadian astronauts. That's true, yeah. Um, so he's the, the kind of longest serving astronaut or he's been in the space program for the longest. And yeah. three is his lucky number because this is his third time in space. Yeah, so he went once when I was about eight and then again when I was 14 and uh, now I'm 26 and he's up there for five months. So. And, and what is he getting up to while he's up there in space? Yeah, they're doing lots of science experiments. Um, they set a record for kind of most time doing science uh, on the International Space Station. They do all sorts of different stuff and exercise and take pictures. And not only that, he's also making sandwiches. <laughs> As you do. Check As you this do. out. <laughs> But I suppose like when you're when you're up in space, even the most normal things can become kind of exciting and just a bit weird when you've got the no gravity. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think you kind of have to get used to just being able to let go of something and not have it drop to the ground. Um, get used to sleeping, you know, however you are in a bag yeah. attached to the wall. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. And uh, here's your dad. He's also, he's, this is how he washes his hands up in space. It looks fantastic, so it does. He's able to like collect the water droplets. And also, he has to exercise a lot when he's up in space. Why yes, is that? He does, because when you're in space, then uh, the gravity isn't pulling you down to the earth, so your bones don't have to be as strong as they do when you're on earth. So they exercise for two hours a day just to make sure that their bones are really, really strong. Uh, so when they come back to earth, they're not really weak. Brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in to chat to us, no Kristen. Problem. We really appreciate it. Thanks a million, Christian. Yeah.